This video is not intended for people under the age of 13 as the game is rated T for teen. Hey guys, it's Bree Simulated here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today we're going ahead and playing Discover University Part 10. We finally hit the double digits. Woohoo! Um, we're over here with Odessa, as you can see, busting it down, and, um, she has been suspended. Yep, that's right. Packing up and moving out. Unfortunately, because Odessa has been suspended, she will need to find a different housing until she's able to enroll in university again. She should take some time to pack up anything of hers before moving out. We're suspended. We need to wait zero days until we can enroll. So I think that means we can just enroll straight away again. Maybe we should go ahead and sit in on a skill class just to show that we're ready to go ahead and get back into the grind. So let's go ahead and maybe do a research and debate skill class. It's all about learning information and then utilizing it, whether that will be in a debate or through social influence. This skill can be improved by da da da. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that one. Maybe she needs to. <gasps> she has a public phone number. Oh no. Okay, she now has like a hundred followers. That's awesome. But oh my goodness gracious me. Okay, I've been playing off camera for quite a while now to try and get her enrolled back in university to either re-enroll and I did like reapply to the university, but apparently it can take up to a week for this to like fix itself. And apparently if it doesn't work after a week, I'll have to have her drop out and then re-enroll. So this is going to be a long process. In the meantime, what I'm going to go ahead and do is have Becca and Erica go ahead and move into the dorms. I'm gonna leave Odessa here at this house until she can re-enroll and then we'll move back with her into Foxbury eventually. And then I Akaya and Julia, they're technically gonna be living here, but we're gonna pretend that they're over in Sulani and we'll go ahead and play with them probably after we're done with Erica and Becca. And we'll just sort of take it in turns. They will be living in their own house on campus, but not in like a dorm. Okay, so Erica just needs to do two more classes and then she'll be done. That's the main reason why I'm thinking, okay, let's just get her done with because then it's like over kind of thing. So let's go ahead and enroll Erica in her history degree. She's doing two classes, March of the Machines and Energy Resources and Consumption. We're going to go ahead and move them into the Wyvern Hall. I don't remember what we're in last time, but I'm just going to do this one here, mainly because I've got a feeling this one might be unfurnished or something it might be broken i don't know because it's like half the price so she is in the language and literature degree and she just needs three more classes to finish off her degree so i'm just going to do them we're going to do entertaining endings the real feels and catching magic on the page Alrighty, here we are in the university dorm it's looking pretty good everybody is sort of getting settled in so I guess we should probably go ahead and pick where we want to live. Okay we're gonna go ahead and snag up this room. I think these people are already living in here but whatever it's our room now. We're gonna go ahead and put Becca over here and then Erica over here. Alrighty there we go. Now we actually have room to like sit down and do our homework which is awesome. Okie dokie. I think that all of the desks now are like fully operational which is great because my main concern was people weren't going to be able to like do their homework and stuff. So now that's all under control. Let's go ahead and make sure that we're doing everything we need to do to be successful. So over here she's going to go ahead and do her term presentation for capture the feels. We're going to go ahead and do our homework for energy, resources, and consumption. And then we'll probably also do it for March of the Madness. Okay, so what I need to make sure is, yeah, she's still a member of the debate team, but I don't believe she would still be a member of the soccer team. So let's go ahead and join a sport team. We're going to go ahead and rejoin the soccer team because I think, you know, maybe we're pretending she has to try out again because now she's like living on campus. So maybe she has to try out for the campus team instead of the Brightchester team or something. I don't know. Clara, are you all right? You're just walking around in your bathers at the university campus. We Okay, so we need to give a presentation and do a term paper and do an exam. Whereas we have 
an exam and a term paper. So we don't have to do a project with Erica, but we do have to still do the term paper. Just gonna be annoying because we're gonna have to use like shared computer, which is like uh, icky. Let's go ahead and hang on up Erica's debate team poster. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and have her rejoin the soccer team. Yay, so we're now a trainee. We just need to make friends with two of the teammates and go ahead and practice some juggling. So let's go ahead and do that in our room. Wouldn't this be so annoying if you're like trying to do your homework and your roommate's just like juggling soccer balls? I never lived on campus or like had a roommate. So I never really knew what this was like, but I can only imagine that that would be kind of annoying. So these three guys here are all our teammates. So I'm going to go ahead and get her just to like chat on the phone with all of them. Jeffrey's looking kind of cute. Maybe Jeffrey could be a little bit more than just a teammate. Oh, Becca reached level five in the debate skill. Awesome. Alrighty, for Erica's debate guild, she needs to go ahead and research some. Uh, practice isn't until Tuesday, so maybe tomorrow we'll go ahead on down to the library or the commons, wherever it is, and research a topic. Then we'll go ahead and I guess you have to research it and then debate it and then win a debate is the thing over here. But maybe just debate it can happen like in the commons. Does that make sense? I don't know. I think that's how it might work. See, so yeah, I hope you don't mind if when I'm playing with this household, because I'll probably be playing with this one for the next two or three parts. It's going to be a bit more chill. It's going to be a bit more focused on just the study, not like crazy partying and stuff, because that's just not these girls vibe. Okay, we're going to go ahead and edit our paper before we go ahead and have a bite to eat. But yeah, I just feel like it's not these girls' vibe to go ahead and party and do all that crazy stuff. Becca's really into her sports and also her education. She's in a gold level degree, so she's pretty into that. And you know what? I just don't think it's her vibe to go out and party too much, maybe occasionally, but especially Erica, she grew up in quite like a sort of like modest family. They lived on a farm, quite like old school, and they both need to tinkle and eat. So I actually might go ahead and stop them from doing their homework and have them go ahead and grab a bite to eat. Erica's paper is looking good, that's awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some of this food before it goes bad. She's gonna go ahead and submit her paper. Term paper, we're gonna go ahead and submit term paper for energy resources and blah, blah, blah. Okay, then we're gonna go tinkle and then we're gonna go ahead and grab some of these sandwiches because they're staying fresh for a little bit longer. And then the girls are probably gonna maybe go to sleep. I don't know. I might actually just get her to finish off her homework because it's really important to me that she finishes that. Erica's already done all of her homework and she submitted her term paper. So now she's just gotta go to classes and keep up with her homework and ace that exam. Isn't this world just so goddamn gorgeous? Like, oh my goodness. I do have a reshade on right now, so that's probably part of the reason, but it is really gorgeous. Um, I also had her apply for some more scholarships just because we definitely needed it. And I'll have Becca apply for some more after she gets a couple of hours sleep as well. Is this dude okay? He just woke up, stinky as all hell, just popped out of bed and took a photo of this frame. Like, is he all right? But yeah, we've got these girls settled on in. So in the next couple of parts, we're just gonna be completing their final semester. So Becca is in these three classes and then she's donezo. Erica's in these two and then she is done as well. So basically this time, well, the term hasn't started yet. So I imagine it's gonna be like seven days. So this time next week, they'll be graduating. So I'm just gonna focus with these girls first. Then we'll probably be focusing on Akaya and Julia. And then we will move on to Odessa eventually. So I hope you don't mind if this kind of part of the series for the next two or three parts is kind of more chill and just about the education instead of being about the party life and whatnot. Because I know some people really like that side of things when it's like wild and partying and crazy and whatnot. But uh, these girls aren't really into that. They're in the gold level, awesome degrees. Great for them. They just and she's in the soccer team, so she's not really into being a crazy party animal at the moment. I will probably make over these rooms or maybe download like one off the gallery or something because I feel like I've played in this a lot. Maybe not with you guys, but I've definitely played with this exact setup 
off camera before. Alrighty, but this is where I'm going to go ahead and leave this part. I'm sorry I led you astray. I thought we were going to be starting out with just being with Odessa, but the whole system is really kind of messed up and it won't let me re-enroll her and whatnot. So I'll try and figure that out in the meantime whilst we're playing with Erica and Becca. But yeah, until next time, hope you'll have a very snazzy day and I'll see you all soon. Bye guys!